Hi, and welcome to the Phil Report for this Monday, April 21st, 2015. Well, I have been watching a lot of topics blow past me, and I apologize for that, but um, I've gotten a word from the Lord that I am to um, not make this page about the news anymore. And honestly... Not because I didn't want to, but because I can no longer, I don't have the free time um, to keep up, update topics and news. And uh, honestly, um, I already knew that was happening. And what I did is I didn't heed the Lord's warning to start shutting the page down. So I ended up suffering more consequences as a result. But I'm to pull away completely from the Internet because of my responsibilities outside of the Internet because the demand, the physical demands of my life are overwhelming. That doesn't mean the field report isn't something that I would like to keep up and running. But I'm just as of right now, today, um, it is just going to be casual, whatever, whenever, however, um, and whatever, Um, but we're taking away the, the title of the field report. We're keeping the title on the page. We're leaving everything as is. But um, there isn't going to be any web show or radio show unless the Lord um, sees to it that happens. There's, we're pulling away from every, any obligations or any like ideas. Um, only because I think the Lord wants us to take a sabbatical and, uh, and seek Him. And I would probably think that most people are already here or, or felt that sense of urgency. It's time to pull away completely. Uh, watch what God does now from here. Um, I've seen, I'm seeing a lot of people doing this too. And I'm not the only one that um, is feeling that sense of urgency. So you're not going to have to worry about keeping up with the field report because we're not going to do that to you guys. We really would pray for everybody to really get their house in order. Don't worry about the internet. Don't worry about the news updates. I, I feel that sense of urgency is probably more stronger. I think that a lot of people don't understand how important it is to, in order to be healed of physical health problems, you have to be delivered first. You have to uh, know the Lord and how He is directing our footsteps from here. Um, he's not going to reveal His plans only to His children. And... Um, because of the safety and security and the, the, the security of your life, uh, I would hope that the Lord wouldn't reveal those plans until time is right. And He's revealed some things to a lot of people that I think they've already heeded the warnings that you're to pull away from a lot of things. And you don't, I don't know what those things might be for you, but I know that the demands outside of the Internet, I, it doesn't allow me to be on the computer. I can't just sit on a computer anymore. And I have tried to keep up. I've tried to keep up with even private messages. And uh, to my to their disappointment, I just don't have the time to respond because of the demands. And I think that sometimes those demands are, in a way, it's a good thing. I think our priority should be our health, exercise, fitness, strengthening, cross-training. But any time I do anything that I know is out of the will of God, I also, also suffer great consequences and um, if you're one of those people that is sensing like you're supposed to be pulled away a while ago and start refocusing your plan, whether it's career, job, family, skills, go to school, um, how, where to go to school, what the Lord wants you to do, where he wants to take you, and you haven't heeded the warning, you, you, you kind of suffer. Um, but the reason the Lord allows us to suffer is that we would heed his warnings because there's a reason why he is pulling us away from things. So with the field report, one of the things I love to do is photography. So there's one thing I know he wouldn't take away the one thing I really do enjoy. But you know what? Even that, everything has to be sacrificed. You know, like all the things that I like to do, want to do, has to be sacrificed. And I know because it's, see, my heart of hearts, I know I'm doing, I'm doing what God wants me to do by putting things aside and, you know, kind of refocusing my my priorities on exercise, fitness, and that's outside of the computer. That means staying away from the computer <laughs> because I have to be more fit. And um, I've recovered from 
I'm, I'm recovering from some really major illnesses, so I the demand is for me to be more um, not be sedentary lifestyle. It's over for that. And it's also the time of year to be outside and active. But, um, but, but the field report, to, for anybody to feel tied down to computer um, or have a job that ties you down to computer and you, you just feel like the Lord's trying to pull you away for, from it and, and maybe change your career path, that's probably where I'm at and have been for a while. I don't know it's a, what happens with the field report. Um, I know one thing I like to do is I like to make uh, a living doing it, but it's not ever been that way. Um, never made a penny <laughs> doing anything. I have done a lot of great, op- I've had a lot of opportunities to do a lot of charitable stuff, and that's nice, but that's not going to save me. That's not going to save me from um, a long, hard day and not being able to physically recover for days and end because I'm you know, not taking care of myself properly and or doing the things I need to do to take care of myself. And I don't think I would be a help to anybody. And I think that sometimes when we're caught up in all the negativity of the news and we can't get off the treadmill, I've been there too many times. I think you guys see me, been on that treadmill too many times. Um, it, it builds this anxiety that we does definitely need because I think there's a sense of lack of control. And really, in all honesty, there is no control over those things that are outside of our, outside of my physical proximity. So, you know, I think that I am like a lot of people. We're pulling away because we want to redirect our footsteps. It's a time of year. We want to be outside. We don't want to be tied down to a computer. Um, there's not a whole lot else I can say. Now, there's, that doesn't mean I don't want to share uh, news topics. It's free to do that, but it's no longer this established professional page with all these glossy pictures. It is what it is, and I don't want to be any more than that. I want to be able to just freely be one of you guys that just talks about the things that matter. Um, I, I am not the, you know, I'm not at, at the top of the triangle. We're all alike in so many ways those who agree with me and some of the areas that I, I feel strongly about. Um, otherwise, there are a lot of people that totally disagree with me, which is fine too. But, you know, is that going to get me provide the food on my table? Is it going to be able to uh, keep me from getting sicker? Is it going to, anything that keeps me from praying and maintaining a walk with my Lord, I have to really be, I have to, my, my sonar is up. And any time I get on the computer and I talk about news topics, I don't think it's helping me. I don't think that a lot of these news topics, whether, you know, it's good to follow news or not, it is good to know to some degree. But some of this heavy news stuff, I don't know if it's that, how is it useful if people don't really care about these topics and they're more focused on a presidential election that's two years away? I mean, our priorities are, you know, are that. Um, yeah, I have some real, you know, I have to tell you, I have some people that I used to totally, thoroughly enjoy what they talked about. And sadly, th- when they tell me that, you know, they don't, they don't believe in protecting their children or family with like the ability to defend yourself, you know, I mean, everything changes my whole outlook on that person. It's like, you think you live differently than people like me, you think differently, we have nothing in common. It's that simple. Um, you know, I, I know, I know if I, with the ability to be able to defend and protect me and my family, that's the first thing I'm going to do. If I'm going to provide them with the food or necessities, clothes, anything, that's the first thing. That's my first priority next to the Lord. And I know people, it's not that they don't love their children, don't love their family, but at the end of the day, if, they're, if they don't have some way to defend your f- home, and your family, what is all that other stuff good for? You know, you got to be able to defend your family when you need to. And I'm not talking about mouth, mouthing off to people and arguing, not a physical altercation, not a, a verbal altercation. I'm talking about real physically be able to defend yourself when somebody kicks in your door and attacks your children or attacks your wife or husband. To me, if you can't do that, all that arguing, all that boasting about what car you bought them, all that furniture that you, you bought them for your door, it's going to be irrelevant. If you can't defend your children uh, children or yourself or your family or your husband or wife at a time that's so critical, 
because believe me, I know I, I would not want to be that mother or father to stare in my children's eye knowing that somebody is assaulting my kids and I have no way to defend them. I, I, I tell you, it changes everything about how I, how I see people. And I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of family that think that way. They think that they're just going to rely on, you know, praying. <sighs> Uh, I know a lot of people that just don't think defending yourself it really is they think it's that's it's they're trying to tell me that that's wrong i don't i i I don't know that we have the kind of uh air time to argue with people like that i I pretty much have written off a lot of people like that and something I don't care about them and love them, but if you can think that way and can believe that way, you obviously haven't lived through a rape, you haven't lived through a physical altercation, because really, you don't know what, how you would react unless you were really confronted with that. And I tell you, having lived through something like that or confronted with that, I, I know you have to have some kind of way to be able to kick or defend yourself. You have to know how to, to protect yourself. And I, I foresee a lot of things going to happen in America because there, there's a small fraction of Americans that would not, they'll, they'd rather rat on their friends and family than be able to defend themselves when it really matters. And I, I think that, that that's a very scary statistic in America. Um, how do you defend yourself on somebody that's going to rat on you? You better be, right now, know that if you have people like this around you, you want to be as far away. They're more of a detriment to you. Now, listen. A lot of times you can have no control of that, but you got to find ways to distance yourself from people that are just going to completely tattle on people. And uh, not that you have to live a life of secrecy either, but you don't want to be around people like that. They're, they're just a different type of people. Um, and I don't know anybody that wants to be around somebody that rats people on anyway, because there's a real trust problem right there. Obviously, with the field report, there's a lot of things I could cover, but... You know, I'm just telling you sensible, common sense stuff that um, there's a lot of people that I've listened to and just interacted with that they'd rather spend time to private messaging, chit-chatting. I, I don't think there's a time, the, the time in, to do that is long over. It's been over for a while. And honestly, if you're going to have to interface on, in a chat room, do you realize that you could be doing other things that God would call you to do something? And I'm not saying that you can't chat with friends and family. Don't get me wrong. But I would really be, I'm careful. Maybe I may be overly careful, but I'd rather be overly careful than slip or t- say or do the wrong thing. And many times I have. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can't stop that now and or try to do something to change those actions or interactions but I know there's people that want to private message each other or chat chat I don't know anybody has time to do that throughout the day or you know life just has so many demands and I just find that I I just I'm sorry if you're gonna want to private message me you better email me first because I don't even answer private messages I just too many problems have come of it and I just I stay away from it altogether. Honestly, I don't have the time. It, it, really, it, it's not that I don't care to respond back. I just, I have a problem. I don't have a lot of free time to answer every private message. And uh, even the ones I want to, I find myself, I'm, I'm, I'm too much in a busy. So most of the time I don't even have a chance to catch up with people. But if you really, if you email me and you put in big letters VIP and, uh, and you put the topic on a space bar, email me at militarynewsradio at gmail.com. I will take the time to at least read it or try to respond back. I can't guarantee it because I'm in the middle of moving a house. So, <laughs> But anyway, um, you know, I'd like to just free up this page. Just do whatever, whenever, whatever. I want people to interact there, though, but, because it can't just be about me. It can't be about the topics that I like. And I, I posted it to you guys that what do you want to do with this? Because at this point... Um, I want to free it up. I want to be able to talk about things that we all want to talk about. There's a lot of topics I might not, I might be covering topics that I find interesting, but you know, I don't know what you guys are out there. And I posted it because I am going to be offline for a couple of days. I'll be off and on as always, but I just want, I don't want, I, I want to be able to be free of that mostly. Um, and, um, that's it. I don't need to run on about anymore. 
But I, I want you all to have a great blessed day. I really hope that you guys are prepping, protecting, uh, and, and, and paying attention, getting your resources together, get your house together. Uh, know that there's all time. Know that there's alternative assets that you need to have protection, all those things that, you know, the Lord would want us to do. And, um, and in Jesus name, amen. God bless you guys. Have a great night and day, whatever, wherever you are in the world, signing off.